There are several different ways that you can import content or record content onto your Myriad 6 Playhouse system and in this video we're going to cover the most common ways. The simplest way to import a single audio file or even a couple of different audio files is to simply open a file browser and then drag and drop the files onto a gap in the media wall. So let's take a look at that process. Here we have a folder with some content going to the media and let's say I want to just import this one item into here just drag it in and the system will automatically import it if i have more than one item to import i can actually select multiple items and drag them into empty areas of the media wall as the system imports it will normalize top and tail and set an extra on each of those e media items as you can see as i drop these into the range that is designated as links it's been automatically set to links. Now if I jump to the songs, find the next empty media item. And then drop a song into there. As you can see, because this was dropped into the song range, it's been automatically tagged as a song. If you want to import multiple items, you can also use the import wizard. To do that, right click on an empty media item and choose import wizard. Here you can select either a bunch of files or a folder to import from. Let's import a couple of files. If you wish, you can also set the song or uh, the item type and the category. I'm going to add these to my pop category. You get asked a series of questions about converting audio, normalization. So if you have a correct level of uh, user security, you can actually change some of these options. But I'm just going to keep clicking next to move through the wizard. You can also search for duplicates, which is useful when you've got a lot of songs on your system. Let's take a look and see if we've got any of these songs already. OK, no duplicates found. Hey, finally we can see a summary and we can see the system has allocated media items and has also set the uh, title artist information, the type and the category. Once the songs are finished importing, you can view a report if you wish and it will give you a little bit of a summary of what was imported. When you're finished, just click on finish and here you can see the three songs that we added to the system have been um, put to the media wall, into the pop category, and are ready to be played. Let's say you actually wanted to record a analog, something analog in, like a voice um, or uh, something for a record. You can actually highlight a media item and click on the record button, or you can right click and choose record, or you can click on the click here to record on the recorder in the bottom right hand corner. Now, the difference between these two methods and the third one is by highlighting an item and clicking record or right clicking and choosing record, that will record into the selected media item. If you just click on record, it will find the next media item in the range for your personal um, media items. So for each user, you can set a range of media items and that's why, where this will be recorded. To stop recording, click on the recorder again and then say, yes, you want to save. And here we can see the recording we've just made. Of course, getting content onto the system is just the start of the journey. You still need to classify it into categories and set timing events such as intros and hooks, but we'll cover all that in other videos.